Is she living in the hotel? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. It's an X. Oh god, that's where Rachel is. Actually, the lights are acting a little weird. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. How are these lights working then? The cables, right? <gasps> oh my god, dust just fell down. There's Rachel above me. Hello everybody, my name is Jay Rowe and welcome back to the suicide of Rachel Foster. Uh, I think we got to day two before the daggum game done crashed. Would it crash when we were talking about moldy carpets or something? Let's see. Alright. So Rachel Foster is the chick who killed herself because she did my dad. <laughs> That's how this... <laughs> That's what I'm gathering. <laughs> There's a flashlight in the storage room. Oh, yes, that's right. Room 117 is bolted down. It's, uh, it's, it's like nailed shut. And, uh, I must have spent an hour. Y'all probably didn't even see it. I spent a long time looking for a screwdriver. Couldn't find it. I hope we get it maybe later in the game and I just need to chill out. Alright, so, uh, for the time being, I need to catch up to where I was, so I will see y'all in a couple minutes. Alright, so uh, I have eaten my can of beans, and uh, we are on the second floor again, inspecting the area. I've turned up the sound effects, because I feel like they're very important in this game. I've jumped four or five times already from a door closing, so uh, I just want to go back to the old stuff. Ooh, winky face, huh? All right, flashlight. Did he say whose name that? Hi. Okay, so I'm just, uh, Ben and Beth worked an awful lot in a laundry room, enough to cross out Meg sometimes. I'm thinking there's a secret romance going on right now, but I don't see Rachel's name on here, so... And it was handwritten on laundry. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're doing some laundry. They're dirtying up some clothes at least. Uh, I was thinking Rachel might be a one of the maids. I mean, surely like the owner of the hotel would be banging one of the maids, right? I mean, if I had a hotel, <laughs> um, I don't own a hotel though. So, all right. Okay, so we're nearing the moldy areas. I just want to see if there's any, like, additional places to check. Alright, so we report this, right? There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage, too. Yeah. What is that, a number? No. Oh, same picture. From whenever. Alright, what is over here? Just an exit? See, this has got to be a secret door. I'm telling you, it's a secret door. The shining carpet. Let's go down here. Okay. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. 
Anyway, uh, the West Wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? You there? You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? I've joked about it, but it's not funny anymore. I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food, and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? How should I have known that, huh? I don't know. I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. Oh, gosh. A room check. Bathroom check, no lights. Oh, gosh. Is this a poltergeist Indian burial ground thing? Did I already say that? I didn't want to answer that phone. Can I report that? Crap, is this to the attic? Oh no. Yeah. Hello? Who is this? Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? Don't do anything stupid. What? You think you can call my house and threaten me? Come tell me to my face, asshole! Uh, can we call that guy up? Oh no. You pissed at me? I'm not 10 years old, I got a different problem. Uh, I'm not 10 years old, I got a different problem. Yeah. I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? It says a circle. No idea, secret admirer. Let's be nice. It, it was a bad connection. W what did they want? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. I didn't mean to click that. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. What do you mean? Sounds creepy. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. Okay, um, was that the cancellation of the renovation bill? That was almost a million dollars. Oh, 
that's creepy. I re I really don't want to find people in here. Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? Uh, Nicole, it's Irving. Oh, <sighs> sorry. I haven't slept like that for ages. Were there sleeping pills and the beans? I must have fallen asleep. I haven't slept like that since I was a kid. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? Uh, yeah, let's say my dad. Leonard, maybe. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention, though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. No, it's dark. Why doesn't that surprise me? The lights are weird. Actually, the lights are acting a little weird. <sighs> I was afraid of that. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We gotta do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. That's it? Where's the hitch? Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if you left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, on my way. No. Oh, no. The Polaroid camera? Oh, can I just go the long way? I know where the freaking garage is. I don't want to go into tunnels. I got the sound effects on loud. Please don't make me grab this. God dog it. Any news? I found a Polaroid. Family photo? Anything important? No, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. Oh, smart. You can try. I wonder who this belonged to. Leonard, maybe? Some client probably left it. You can't imagine what people leave in hotels. Oh, I could tell you about the rubber friend that Mr. Rochford's widow left here in 82. Mayor Linden's kids and I used it as a miniature Indian totem pole for the whole summer. It was a huge scandal. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yep. Anyway, the Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. I know where the freaking flashlight is. Why can't I just go get that? I mean, can I use... Can I use this now? Oh my gosh. The lights are gonna go out. Irving said I must enter the crawl space on the first floor staff area. I mean, this crawl space is everywhere. There's like tons of little hidden nooks and crannies. Oh, screw my dad for not owning a freaking flashlight. Okay, I need the crawl sp I get it now. I need the crawl space because that... That area is actually locked up. So that's why. All right. Oh my god, why does it look all blue? Seems what I'm talking about. It's sound effects. They're just... Oh. She's losing her mind. And taking me with her. So the first floor is not the first floor. That's what my problem is. All right, let me go back. Yeah, that's weird. The first floor is 
upstairs. Oh god, please just leave. Just leave and die. Lot. Rachel's already dead. Uh, we're on the first floor. Alright, now where do I find the help? That's what I'm gonna call it. Hey. Okay, almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. I forgot that. What a professional tone. The crawl space? I'd totally forgotten that. Remember where to go? No. But I do remember the panels were really hard to open. I wasn't allowed to go in there. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. I mean, this is the door, right? Can I pick up the flashlight? Well, at least we got the flashlight. <laughs> I found the crawl space and also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? I don't remember so narrow claustrophobia. I don't remember the crawl space to be so narrow when the technicians went inside. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called growing up, idiot. Maybe I should have gone with the claustrophobias. No, look at the creepy wood. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not happy about this. How are these lights working then? What's wrong? You're clairvoyant. I'm in the dark. I am totally in the dark. I'd appreciate some help. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay. Easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way. Otherwise, who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, yep. Easy. Does it. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could open that door so I could use it for the future, but I don't want to open it and use it if it messes me up. It's an X. Oh god, that's where Rachel is. I'm just gonna say Rachel's in there or something like that. That's a mannequin. Please be a mannequin. Maybe I don't want the lights on. It looks less creepy with the lights on. Oh, it goes further down. What? Uh, follow the bundles of cable. Rachel could totally be living in here.
No spiders. No spiders. Lipstick. Red doll? The screwdriver! Uh, what's up? Uh, hi. I, I want to ask you something. Okay. Uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Huh. A lipstick here. Can you explain that? What sounds less aggressive? Doesn't that seem weird? It's... a... lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? Don't be silly. It gives me the creeps. Are you crazy? Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... Well... Yeah. You're probably right. Grab the screwdriver. Oh! Please grab the screwdriver. We know... Dang it! I'm going to get the screwdriver. <laughs> the... is ordered, sir. You awake? Sort of. You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, uh, okay. Uh, okay. It looks like it's blood on the picture. I don't want to click report, because I think that's gonna... So, when you pick up the items it forces you into the story and then go into the next thing maybe i should pick up the screwdriver first or maybe that was a choice that i you pick up the screwdriver or you pick up the lipstick i don't want to report this yet until i can uh i mean obviously i want to go try to get the lipstick first if it doesn't work out and i can't pick up the screw the screwdriver, then uh, I'll just come back. But I want to, like... I, I mean, I know that door is barricaded. We know this, man. I'm going to go there real quick. I don't want to go back, but I have to. Uh, if it's uneventful, I will just go back and report. If I can remember how to get there. I imagine you're locked up in a room full of moose head mounts and a fat secretary who brings you reports about... Cats stuck on trees. Let me guess. Mindy? <laughs> Windy. No way! Her name is Windy. She's not a fitness freak, and she's my boss. <laughs> oh, God. If anything, I'm the secretary. I bet she works you to the bone. <laughs> no, plus, she's a wildlife freak. Mine's the only head that could end up hanging on the wall. I realize just now, I don't know what you look like. Well, I'd say... Pretty much a local guy. Wait, don't say anything. I want to think about it, and then I'll come up with an identikit. I thought I was the one that got bored. You do one too, then, and then we'll compare. Uh, okay. But if Wendy finds out... <laughs> okay, we were supposed to follow the cables, right? <gasps> Oh my god, dust just fell down. There's Rachel above me. Are you kidding me? I can't open this dang door? That's crap. 
That sucks. I need to go to an equivalent low area. So I don't want to go upstairs as much. Uh... Alright, let me go down through this one. And that will at least get me closer d down to the below area. Um, I don't need to be here. Hopscotch? What is this on the map? Something's not right in Rachel's story. I have to investigate the clues in Leonard's room and shed light. I want to go to the garage. I need to focus on where I want to go. Um... Now I can't pick up the screwdriver. What a waste. I hate this. Oh my gosh. And I think it went in a complete circle. I could have just gone through this museum. Maybe. Uh, what is this cool place? The game room? Heck yeah. We're gonna play in the game room. Can we play some games? Can we play some darts, Nicole? Out of order or overused by Nicole or Rachel? Jimon, not Simon. That's so upsetting. I'm very upset. I understand things have to be done in order, but... Could have at least given me the satisfaction of just holding the dang screwdriver. And just not allowing me to use it yet. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? What are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. I want to shed light. I don't know what to think. I really don't know what to think. It's just that... I don't know what to think. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. I'm a Sherlock Holmes fan. I want to follow my instinct. I'm going to follow my instinct. I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long, and it feels like things don't add up here. Okay. Let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Uh, yeah, I read this in the last one. Is that Leonard? Uh, Pastor Foster lipstick book. That's not Leonard, it's Pastor Foster. Let's ask about the book. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel, or 
Rachel is sad. Or Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. I, I don't know if it's a ghost or not, but remember we were in that bathroom with the candles and that creepy book with the Indian marking? I'm gonna call it an Indian marking because there's an Indian museum hotel and probably an Indian burial ground under these, this hotel. Let's talk about Pastor Foster. How do we do it? Pastor Foster lipstick. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. I don't like priests. He seemed like an alien to me. Uh, yeah, let's see that one. Back in the day, I thought he was a kind of reptilian with a human skin suit. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter hey no no but even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story just saying uh, right okay was she friends with Rachel I mean she is older right and Leonard had an affair with his, the pastor's daughter? Golly, that is messed up. I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh no, can I pick certain clues? Friend story, newspaper clippings, Rachel's death. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Uh, yeah, that was the official version. What? She was preggers? She was found in... Wishard Ridge looks like a suicide. Uh, I guess I have to talk to him about all these. Maybe that's what day four is. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was MT Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. She couldn't have been wrong. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Uh, I know. It's not a very reliable source. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. Did they find a body? Did she jump off a cliff? Wall clues. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, look at the map. You see Rachel's body? She would have had to walk all the way that far to the hotel, I guess. Is she living in the hotel? Into the creepy in-betweens? And... That's gonna be weird. This is crazy. She... The friend said she saw Rachel at the Timberline Hotel. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? 
an investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay. Well, I'll hear you out. Coroner confirmed she was pregnant. Uh, could the da her dad have killed her? Maybe he pushed her off because she was pregnant. I mean, this is one of those small towns, so that's that's a lot to. All right, let's let's now let's do desk clues again. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipstick smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean. <laughs> uh, let's say yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Leonard ruined his life over a 16-year-old, became a recluse, lost everything, and in the meantime, he supposedly had another lover, maybe even two. Um, could the cold have preserved? Possibly. Mm. Anything um. else? Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Uh, until I know exactly what happened, you want me to stop? Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But, sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. Once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me. At least on this one thing. Go. To. Bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. I'll follow it to the T. Uh, it said I'll get. I'm getting the hang of it, and it. Uh, it typed out I got the hand of it. Just gonna point that out. Uh, is she really dead? Achievement unlocked. Sweet. You can't see the achievement. It's behind me. But no, I got it. Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Daddy. Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. I miss you so much. Is it really you? Are you real? Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. I don't understand. I missed you. I, I don't want to go what sentimental. What to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet bee. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. <laughs> Freaking game crashed again. Anyways, that'll come to a stopping point once again. Number of crashes. Two. I gotta do that all over again, so I wanna analyze what I just said and uh, hope you're enjoying this. Uh, I know it's not jump scary or anything like that, but I'm scared. I am so scared. I don't know why. It's just you're by yourself. And I can understand those noises they get to you. It builds up in your head and it festers. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're enjoying this game. Like, subscribe, and get on out of here.